Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Do Bonsai. It's uh, Wednesday today, it's the end. The sun's gone down of a pretty decent day. The sun was out most of it and uh, making everything nice and warm and grow. Uh, it's now obviously autumn now, we've had the official first day of autumn. Um, but as I've driven down and landed on the drive, uh, I've noticed that um, there's a tree made its way into our bin. We have two bay trees on the front and one of them has uh, been <laughs> has, has been demoted to the to the bin. Um, I'm gonna go and rescue it. So there used to be two bay trees, one at either side. This one has been repotted today and looks quite nice and green and doing nicely well. But if we venture around to where the bins are, this is the garden bin, you'll see that it's propped open and it's being propped open by an unfortunate bay that's been sentenced to death. Uh, the top of it has already been cut off you can see there it wasn't looking very good it had uh, pretty much died back just about everywhere but the cut that was made was still quite green so I'm going to uh, take this downstairs to our greenhouse uh, re-chop it a bit lower and see if we can't get it to bud out at a lower point so I better put this into a bit of a bag because I'm going to have to go through the house with this and this has got a huge root ball on there it's all full of roots so we've got a bit of work maybe to do with that but we'll drop it into this compostable bag just so that we can carry it through the house and take it down to our little greenhouse downstairs and we'll get it potted into something and see if we can't keep it alive. So we've made it through the house and the greenhouse looks okay. The lights have gone off, but I'm gonna put them on for you for the full effect. So they're just on a timer at the moment on here and we can put them on and we have daylight look how bright those lights look with the camera whoa but just to give you the effect so had the timer not been on look at the beam of light coming out of the greenhouse and as we walk in it looks really nice the green stuff's green the cobbles are looking good they've done really well there's my new halls two gallon watering can saves me keep going backwards and forwards to the uh, to the water butt but it is a great big thing I didn't expect it to be that big but how big do you think it's going to be when it's got two gallons in it Scott come on so as you can see everything around is nice and green the lights have been doing their job encouraging things to just keep on growing and and do well and uh, they really are we did have a bit of an issue with the ficus the sacred figs ficus religiosas i found in the tray that these were in this is a new tray there was a handful of slugs there was a snail and all sorts and as you can see overnight last night they've had an absolute feast so these will come back they will continue to do well and we will have to continue to remove the slug problem and the snail problem over a period of time you can see this is what they looked like really nice and full of growth and uh, yeah they had a proper feast on them they also previously got hold of our uh, i think these were our orange seedlings so we're going to have to plant on the orange seedlings but whereas we had pretty much one in every pod we're down to just a, a few now which is okay we can we can carry on with that 
but uh, yeah it was a bit of a disappointment to pull those out and see that the slugs and uh, snails have had an absolute feast on those as well um, I've also got to go with the uh, hot new hauls watering can some nice roses proper hauls genuine and uh, Nigel you'll be glad to know that yours will be in the post tomorrow they came today ordered yesterday received today absolutely fantastic care delivery by hauls um, they came at uh, just after 11 o'clock so uh, yeah they did really well so I've got myself a standard and a fine so that was the fine one I didn't go for the ultra fine because I felt it would clog up too much forgive me I'm holding the camera and uh, that's the standard holes so that'll be for standard watering and that'll be for ultra fine spraying but the standard rose that comes with it is really really good and if we just go to the back I'll show you how it operates how well it does so two gallons of water a bit of weight and just tip it up and you can see there it really does deliver a nice shower of water to everything so it works really well I'll just get in there to the avocado which is going to need trimming that's really gone really strong and everything else is doing really well so the idea for what we're going to do with the bay tree came from what we've done to this olive tree basically it was a tree that was about two foot tall and it didn't really do anything at the top it kind of died back and never really came to anything so Kay said right I'm going to chop you and if you live you live if you don't you don't and whatever we get we get and I, I said right okay what I'll do is I'll chop one of the two litre bottles off and see if it does anything and look at this we've got growth out of just about all of the node points for uh, for the whole trunk so there's definitely something to be had out of that there's even some surface roots coming out just down there so and also some surface roots coming out of this side around here let me uh, let me show you that so we've got some high level roots coming out just there and we've got the surface root coming out into the moss there as well and then we've got all this growth out of every node even you know this leaf scar here it's budding out of there as well so it's done exceptionally well over the summer and uh, I think it will continue to do well so I ho hold high hopes for the bay uh, but we're in the same situation where it'll either live or it won't okay so before we get started with the um, the repotting and chopping of the the bay tree I just wanted to make a cup of tea and I'm going to have it in my uh, my new let's do bonsai mug which my very very good friend Tom from Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors sent over all the way from Chicago and uh, yeah I've had many a cup of tea in this now and it's uh, absolutely brilliant it's a nice big mug Tom thank you very much your uh, daughter really did us proud with that the uh, the logo is very nice and the word in let's do bonsai thank you very much Tom also was kind enough to send some more stuff as usual he spoils us does Tom and in today's package we have some tea brews so we've got the tea brews to use for the uh, the watering and whatnot so we'll do a video on that we've got some Mikos root packs so the Mikos that you see Tom using this is some uh, demonstration pack 
so we'll be using some of that in some upcoming videos we've got some more Mikos pure microsaural inoculant so that's going to be really good for the uh, for the roots so we've got that uh, another pouch of Asus root booster so that's going to be good some calcarb foliar booster and Mikos WP and this is all from Extreme Gardening as you can see and if you live in America in the US you can go on to Extreme Gardening's website and you'll be able to order a sample of the uh, Extreme Gardening uh, equipment. If you live in the UK, you'll probably have to go to a local hydroponics store. Uh, there's a few hydroponics places that um, sell and use this type of uh, equipment, this type of treatment. So, uh, yeah, in the US, get your free kits give them a try um, and then obviously make sure you use them going forward uh, Tom swears by these he's using them all the time and they're doing him absolutely great guns um, we will use these going forward um, I, I did say before I'm going to do some reading up for what we've got to do and we will make up some uh, mixtures of each uh, maybe into some two litre fizzy pop bottles some soda bottles and uh, we'll definitely use this going forward and uh, hopefully we'll notice some some results of, of what we've done but yeah once again Tom you really spoil me and um, thank you very very much um, we've also got before I do forget uh, some seeds so these seeds in this Ziploc bag keep them nice and fresh we'll have to do something with these very soon we have some angel wings oh that's brilliant Tom thank you for the angel wings I've seen them what you've got and I definitely haven't got any so we'll get these straight into uh, some mixture to hopefully have them grow and um, some Kyoto moss spores so we better try and grow some moss. I don't know whether you noticed just now, looking at the 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 moss uh, garden that I created, it's browned off a lot because it was in the shade for a long time while we were doing the work. Um, so it's very soggy, very damp. It's like a little bogland at the moment, but it is beginning to green up in places. We'll give it a little bit longer, see if it greens up. But I think we're going to have to revisit that and redo it and take some of the water out. It likes damp conditions, but it's just too, too wet at the moment. I was hoping we were going to get some evaporation and it would uh, dry out a little bit, but we don't seem to be getting that. So I've got here for me what is... Oh, I've got here for, for what is, for me, an enormous pot. Um, but it should be okay for fitting in this bay tree so if we just see how it would fit in yep it goes in front and back all right and there's absolutely loads of room either side so I think we'll give it a small bed of soil we're not going to use bonsai soil I've got a bag of seeding soil sand mixture so I'm going to put a, a bed of that in place So we've got a bed of that for the bottom side of the roots of this to sit on and if we just remove this biodegradable bag that we brought it up in brought it down in I should say just take off whatever that is that was on the bottom and fit that into the pot and I'll just bring you out so you can see it so you can see there are some dead bits where it's grown there's uh, the trunk is about three foot tall we're gonna cut it right back maybe to about here so that's gonna be a, a hefty cut and then we'll put one of our soda bottles fizzy pop bottles 
over the top to create a humid environment and hopefully it will stimulate some of these buds that are left on there to grow out and obviously we'll give it a good thorough watering in and around there. So what we'll do is fill this up with soil. And it's only going to be this seeding soil mix that's going in because it's only just to see whether it lives or not so we're not going to waste good 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 soil on it and it will find its way it's that fine it will find its way around the roots it will hold more moisture than our normal mixture but that's okay because we want the moisture and we want the humidity to try and stimulate the growth this soil was only spare anyway it had been used on the garden to root the uh, the grass seed and it did a great job of that cleared a few patches so we'll uh, get this in get it watered and see how it goes So we'll just push the soil down in and around the roots just to compact it a little bit so it holds the bay in the pot. And then we'll continue filling up. So just pressing it down and into the pot, you can see it's mounded up because it is quite high in the pot uh, I've got nothing else to really put it in short of placing it in the mud pit at the back which I can't move anything out to, to get it in so we'll um, see where that is we'll just take out some of these dead suckers They're gone and then we'll give it a good water for that I have my little plastic hose watering can and we'll just pour the water in try and do it steadily so it all goes into the soil But it will drain through eventually and we'll not put too much in that it'll do too you know damage to the tree so we'll let that sit and now we need to cut the trunk so the height that we're going to place this tree at is going to be depicted by the size of this plastic bottle so that's going to sit on top of the soil at about that height and you can't quite see that there so if I just bring you around that's going to sit at the top of the soil at around about that height so what we're going to have to do is chop maybe just around about this scar here and lose all that top half which is fine because it was sentenced to death anyway and we'll place the bottle over the top to achieve this I would normally use some loppers or something but I can't find them but I have this saw that came in a kit that was bought 
when I first really started getting into bonsai but you can see there it's not the best thing in the world it's cracked there and it's never been used so I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to cut through this effectively let's have a look and see how we get on so here we are we're going to uh, go in at this height with the saw and just steadily saw through it appears to be nice live tissue so that's a good good start yep yeah, it's nice and green in there bit of life left in it so you can see there it's green enough to carry on so we'll say goodbye to our stick so that's gone and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray inside this bottle and then place the bottle over the top So that's going to be it for today. We'll uh, position that outside and hope that it uh, carries on. So get outside and make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animal and the planet. If you do go outside, if you can wear a mask. Um, and as always, I'll see you again in the next one.